it's Claire. Thank you so much for your warm response to my topoki video from last week. I really appreciated all of your comments and I've tried to respond as much as possible. So I'm back this week with another K food video and this time I'm going to try to make my own kimchi. Kimchi is probably Korea's most famous food. It consists of salted or fermented vegetables and usually involves kochugaru, red pepper flakes. People used to ferment their kimchi and then store it in earthenware in the ground to keep it fresh. But these days people use kimchi refrigerators to keep their kimchi fresh. And now that I know that kimchi refrigerators are a thing, I totally want one. So I looked it up and you can buy them in Australia, but they are $4,000, so never mind. For this kimchi, you will need Chinese cabbage, also known as Napa cabbage, daikon, I think this has another English name, but I don't know it, so I call it daikon, some spring onion, non-iodized salt, it has to be non-iodized because the iodine will mess with the fermentation. Spring, distilled or filtered water because chlorination will mess with fermentation. Some ginger, shrimp paste, our favorite, kochugaru, and sugar. You will also need some gloves and a one liter jar. First, cut the cabbage into quarters, cut out the cores, and cut each quarter crosswise into five centimeter strips. Place the cabbage in a bowl and add salt. Massage the salt into the cabbage until it softens. Add enough water to cover the cabbage. Put a plate on top and also use something heavy to weigh it down. Leave for one to two hours. Rinse the cabbage three times and leave to drain for 15 to 20 minutes. Everyone is terrible. Chop the spring onion up into inch long pieces and chop the daikon into matchstick size pieces. Combine the sugar, ginger, shrimp paste and stir. Add in one to five tablespoons of kochugaru and stir. Once the cabbage is drained, squeeze any remaining cabbage water into the spice mix, add the daikon and spring onion and mix the spice paste into the vegetables. Gloves are highly recommended. Pack the kimchi into a jar. Press down to make sure the liquid level is above the level of the vegetables and leave a couple centimeters space at the top of the jar. Seal the jar. Leave in a cool place with a plate underneath. For the next few days, I'm going to check the kimchi daily. Push the vegetables down with a gloved hand so they are covered by the liquid and taste until the kimchi is ripe enough. Uh, I should have put on makeup for this. Today is... June 11th, it's a Thursday. We've had the kimchi on overnight, so now I'm going to taste test it and see how it is. So we have our kimchi. I'm going to open it up and take one little bit out to taste. Where are you? Here we go. To there. And then make sure that the brine or the liquid is still covering excellent and we'll seal it back up but i can't do that with a camera in my hand so so i'm gonna try it oh mm. it's still pretty crunchy very spicy, which is nice. So I still think it needs a couple more days. Today is, what's the date today, Simon? It is the 12th of June. 12th of June. Today is the 12th of June. It's a Friday. So the kimchi has been waiting for two days now. So I'm going to try it again. So I'll open it up and I'll take out a little sample. Here we go. And now we seal it back up. Mm. 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 
So the flavors definitely mellowed out, but the spice is still really good. And I think it needs one more day. Now to taste. Mm. Mm. So this is ready. Um, so now we have to put this in the fridge for a bit. Simon! So now we'll put it in the fridge. Alrighty, what's next? Oh, uh huh. One sec. When your kimchi tastes ripe enough for your liking, uh, transfer the jar to the refrigerator. You may eat it right away, but it's best after one or two weeks. Hmm.